Hello everybody, this is a very large object and I am here giving you a new video on how to get these Nintendo DS and 3DS games on your Odin without going to like some sketchy site or anything like that. Um, all you need, um, granted if you have these games you probably have a 3DS of some sort. Um, and I'm going to direct you to a link to um, hack it if you haven't already. Um, it's incredibly simple and the process is pretty much uh, foolproof. So, what we're going to do is take one of your games here. We're going to put it in to the game card slot there. We're going to take our SD card. In this case, it's already a micro SD. So we're gonna slip it in there. And now, with a modified DS or 3D, uh, 3DS or 2DS, um, if you press and hold the start button and press the power button, it'll get you into God Mode 9. Once in here, you can actually look through pretty much all of your stuff in here. Um, but we're gonna look at game cart. Once in game cart, we can actually check where we see these .nds files. You're going to want to select one of these here. So press A. And we're going to copy it to gm9 slash out. That only takes a couple seconds for these uh, regular DS games. Once that bar goes across, we're going to see it in that folder when we open it up on the Odin. Now the 3DS files are going to be a little bit different. And I will show you that here as well. So that's added to that folder, so let's back out. And let's put the 3DS cartridge in. So we're gonna take this, and take this, and uh, throw it in. So now, we have this. So let me actually back out that. See, usually it's supposed to show you the <laughs> current thing in there, but let me uh, try that again. It's not perfect, to say the least. Okay, so now we're in here and we have these .3ds files. So we're gonna actually go ahead, we're gonna click on trim and we're going to, instead of copy to God Mode 9 out, we're gonna go to NC SD image options, build CIA from file. Once you do that, you're going to see that same loading progress bar, and it's going to create a .cia file that if you were to just use it on your 3DS or 2DS, you can go to the FBI app and download that CIA file, but we're not going to be doing that um, currently. So here's what we're going to do. All right, so once you are in your your root here and you want to actually take the games that you already have downloaded to your uh, 3ds or 2ds from the eShop and you're, you're you're willing to go ahead and get access to those titles so we're going to go ahead and select one of these folders here 
I know one of these actually has um, so these are different uh, subfolders here pick one and then pick another subfolder and go to content and let's take a look at the .tmd file here so this is Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX so with these files they're going to be a little different you see there's two .app files here um, we're looking at the .tmd we're going to click A here go to TMD file options and we're going to build a CIA file from it we're going to choose standard and we're going to go back and then let's pick another one here content TMD so here's Steel Diver that's one of the games you're actually going to need in order to hack the system but let's try another one here TMD here's Pokemon a yellow version I actually do want to copy that over so let's go ahead and build CIA file standard and these will all be going to the GM9 out folder so let's go ahead and press A there and let's back out and switch over to our Ein Odin all right so I went ahead and used this adapter it's kind of janky um, it works half the time <laughs> so we'll see how this goes and we're going to want to use the Citra emulator I see the USB is attached we're going to go up to these little three dots here in the corner and install CIA file we're going to want to get out of this and go to where our SD card is listed mine's kind of weird named because it had no name when I put it in the 3DS we're going to go down to GM9 out and we're going to look for our games here luckily they're actually labeled for us pretty easily here so Link's Awakening DX I'm going to pick that one and once we got that picked we're going to pick a Pikachu the uh, Pokemon um, yellow version as well and we're going to hit OK so you're going to see it load a little bit there with the bigger 3DS games it's actually going to take about a minute or so but we can actually check our content here um, and here and see it now I have to refresh so that I can actually see them uh, Pokemon Yellow and Link's Awakening DX so this will play as if it was playing on the 3DS so we can actually full screen on this and it does have its sound but as you can see it is playing exactly as it would on the 3DS so that's how I went ahead and did that I also copied this game this game here this game here obviously you can see them listed um, uh, uh, these two at least listed here now when it comes to Nintendogs okay that cut file we copied we're not going to be using Citra for it we're going to be using Jurassic we're going to load new game and we're going to actually I'm going to actually show you where we put we uh we put it so let's go to our external drive go to gm9 out and we have nintendogs in here somewhere so there it is we're going to take that and we're going to move it over to our internal here the ds and move and now the item is moved over 
So now when you go into Drastic, you will see it. Actually, you might see two copies because I copied up uh, both there. But let me uh, delete uh, delete one of those copies. <laughs> but no, so that's how that is done. Um, if you wanted to save some space, you can use the trim versions. Um, and you don't have to worry about getting yourself a virus uh, trying to download 3DS games off the internet that have uh, a questionable legality to it. This is pretty much the most uh, official way to do it. Obviously, Nintendo probably doesn't want you to do it anyway because they think you're tied to your system here. But that's not how the laws work um, when it comes to trademark. So that is about it, guys. I'm going to be playing some uh, Super Mario 3D Land, all right, on this system. And uh, enjoy the rest of my day. So, because it's actually been playing pretty well. <laughs> I've uh, gotten to this point here already. There we go. And once you're loaded into the level here, you have pretty much perfect emulation here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Probably glad to share some more games with you on this system very soon. Peace out, guys.